Hey there, welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. Today we are going to do another ribbon pour. So I did a ribbon pour a while back and I was a little apprehensive so I tried it on a cheap little canvas just to sort of see how it would work and I think it turned out pretty good. I'll show you real quickly um, what that looked like. So here is that. And today I want to try it on a larger scale. I've got an 11 by 16 canvas and I'm going to use more paint. Obviously I've got more canvas. I need more paint. So um, yeah, let's go for it. See what happens. Okay. So I have covered my canvas with an Artist Loft Flow Acrylics uh, Silver and I filled up my cup and you can see it <laughs> looks like I have a bunch of yellow. I'm hoping that my darker colors will flow down. But real quick, I'll run through my colors. Yes, I have a, a yellow. It's an Artist Loft Flow Acrylics Yellow. I've got a um, metallic blue, also Artist Loft. I've got white, Artist Loft, Floor Acrylics. I've got a mix that I sort of made up. It's um, it's a, um, whew, let's see, it's, <laughs> it's a Liquid Liquidex Basics Red with an Artist Loft Floor Acrylics White. And I've got Artist Loft Floor Acrylics Cobalt Blue. And then finally, my secret ingredient, I think, <laughs> it's a metallic, um, it's deco art, and it's a metallic peacock pearl. And that seems to create some cells for me, and it also is super shiny, and I love it. So I'm going to let this sit for just a little bit and hope that maybe some of these colors will flow down and uh, infiltrate, if you will, the yellow. And we will check back in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. Um, paint has not flowed to the bottom of the cup very well. I did take a stir stick and sort of try to push it down a bit. Um, show you what I mean. Just sort of push down the darker colors to the bottom. I don't want to stir this because everything's going to get muddy if I do that. So I'm just sort of gently pushing it down along the side of the cup in hopes that uh, I can blend it a little better. Again, I will remind you of what I'm after today. This is what I'm after. We'll see if we get that. All right. Nonetheless, let's just get going. See what happens. Well, I know that these darker colors are going to show up first. Oh boy. The ribbon pour is supposed to be a back and forth sort of thing. And you can see that I just accidentally dumped a bunch of paint right away. Let's see what happens. Maybe I need to slow down a bit. That's better. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, I hope I have enough paint. <laughs> I have a very large canvas. I'm going to spread, I'm going to uh, separate my stripes a little bit more because I've got a bunch of paint up at the top here in the top corner and I will eventually um, tilt my canvas a little bit so I can move that paint around. Eee. I'm not crazy about this so far. All right, I've got a bunch of yellow left. You know what though, look at all those cells popping up. Can you see that? I'm going to start this yellow again in the top corner and see if I can Make things a little bit more contrasting. I think I might be pouring too fast. I do like the cells that are popping up somehow. My shaky hand. I <laughs> have such a shaky hand. I could not be a surgeon. <laughs> Do not have a steady hand. All right. And I have zero patience, so. Well, you can see up here we've got some purples because of the red and the blue. And down here where the bottom of the cup was so yellow, I've got my yellow showing up with a little bit of residue blue. Nonetheless, let's tilt this thing. Let's see if we can get something cool out of this. canvas is very heavy. By the way, I'm going to lift this up for just a minute so you can see the back. I put I put a um, piece of cardboard on the back of this canvas because 
this, it was it was sort of sinking in the middle and I always like to start my paintings with a level canvas and I could not get this little guy level big guy so um, put this uh, piece of cardboard in the middle to see if I could level the middle a little bit give it a little bit more support especially when you, once you dump um, paint on your canvas obviously that adds some weight to the canvas and um, it messes up the, the levelness of it huh, I don't know what do you guys think so far it's very stripey I'm not a fan of stripes but yeah there's some cool spots here too still tilting let's go this direction I really like this little section right here and also this little section right here. I think what I'll do, just for giggles and things, is uh, bring out my torch. See if that'll uh, make anything develop. Oh, yes, it is. It's certainly making the um, light colored sections, which I think is the, the yellow and white. It's gotten so pale. It's making that bubble up a little bit. Got a lot of bubbles over here. Okay. I think I'm gonna like this. It's kind of a muted, muted color uh, uh, painting. I usually like to have more shocking colors, but um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna adjust you a little bit here. <clears throat> it's kind of muted, but it's also kind of soft and comforting. So I, I, I think I'm gonna like this. I like to try and find something positive in each of my in each of my paintings. So I think for this one, it's gonna be a comforting painting. All right, guys, I am going to clean this up. I will go around the edges and make sure I have everything covered. And uh, yeah, we're gonna call it good. So here was my second attempt at a ribbon pour and uh, on a larger scale. If you like what you see, you guys, you know, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my stuff, please, please, please subscribe. And absolutely, please take care and I will see you next time.